my name is Costanza and I come from Italy, although I've been living here in the UK for 17 years now. Um, I have an ordinary job, I mean job in uh, central London, but I have a bit of a peculiar background because I spent most of my adult life abroad, having also lived in the United States for six years, part of which I spent studying business and economics. Um, I tend to look at the issue of control over monetary policy from the point of view of an outsider, if anybody can be considered an outsider in this globalized world. What I mean is that I look at it from the point of view of a country, or rather a group of countries, that have uh, completely handed over their uh, monetary sovereignty to a shady supranational entity called the European Union, and with very dire consequences. I came across the Positive Money website because after the start of the financial crisis, and even more after the start of the Eurozone crisis, I was not happy with the official explanations. Subprime mortgages, greedy bankers, profligate governments, it all sounded very simplistic to me and completely inadequate to explain the scale and the complexity of the problem. So I started to dig deeper and deeper, and before I knew it, I had embarked on a personal mission to find out the truth. Over the years, I've been reading a lot of material on the subject, from the websites of economics professors, financial analysts, independent journalists, and eventually, as every thread seemed to lead to money creation, I came across the Positive Money website, which was very helpful to complete the picture with its clear and straightforward explanations of how money is really created. As I was building up this picture, I was also sharing my views with friends and colleagues who were as baffled as anybody by the sudden financial collapse of 2008 and the ensuing crisis. People reacted in different ways to my unconventional explanations. Uh, but in general, their willingness to take on board my point of view depended a lot on their uh, perceptions of the gravity of the situation. Not surprisingly, I've made more progress in convincing my Italian friends and colleagues as opposed to the English ones. And even this, not immediately, but after a while, with the deepening of the Eurozone crisis. But even those people who have come around to see my point of view, they still don't seem to be ready to, to, take, um, to take action. And I'm a bit disappointed about this, but in a way it is to be expected. It takes a while before people are actually ready to go a step further. As for myself, I joined Positive Money last year in the summer, and here I am, very excited and hopeful that maybe we can make change happen. <laughs>